welcome to your entertainment science fiction programming network your entertainment sci-fi programming network and so we say bonjour buenos dias zao shanghao zao an ohio gozaimaisu and welcome and today we're talking about enhancing your superpowers in our last podcast we talked about the super abilities that all of us have inside of us and how to tap into those super abilities if you miss it go back and listen to it if you're on youtube go back on the aquify podcast episode and then you'll see all the episodes that you miss go back and listen to that so the last one we talked about and while you're there go ahead and subscribe 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 and like and like and like subscribe and like listen to the entire podcast and then you'll be up to speed with this podcast so we talked about enhancing your superpowers how to build up the super abilities in us now we're going to enhance that even further right enhance our muscles our stamina our energy our body now is trained to fly and handle speed and we talked about that in the last podcast about how to put a wingsuit on and go more than 246.6 miles per hour. So we can absorb a huge dose of epinephrine, a huge adrenaline rush, a giant burst of testosterone, and we can fly. Now we're gonna enhance that even further, add to our superpowers, and then we're going to send out electricity from our bodies and do it naturally. And some of us will don't want to send out electricity. Electricity is not my thing. So some of us are going to send out fire from our bodies. And you know, and that's going to put us among the elite of superheroes that send out electricity. Let's say talking about sending out electricity, let's talk about Barry Allen, for instance. Barry Allen is a normal scientist working in his laboratory late one night and then he got struck by lightning. That lightning knocked him into electrified chemicals, turning him into the Flash, the fastest man alive. Then he builds up an electrical force when he runs and he can build up this electrical force and throw it at his foes, throw it at his enemies. Or let's talk about Billy Batson. Just by Billy Batson saying, Shazam! Lightning bolts power his body and he becomes the Earth's mightiest mortal. Or like Jefferson Pierce. Jefferson Pierce was born with the metagene and while he was injected with a vaccine that killed most children, but because of the metagene, Jefferson Pierce becomes black lightning and can harness electricity to make himself indestructible. Even a homeless thief in Cairo, Egypt, can have the X gene in her, giving her the ability to harness electricity and then when she meets up with professor x who teaches her how to use and control her powers she becomes storm on the x-men so we give off static electricity or static current it's a natural occurrence our body gives off the static current naturally you might touch a door, a doorknob, another person, or touch a sweater and feel electricity coming from you. You might even see a little static coming from you, right? Why? We are made up of defining structure of the elements called atoms. Atoms 
control positively charged protons and negatively charged electrons and neutral neutrons. When our atoms remain neutral, that is, when they have the same number of protons and electrons, everything is normal. But when an imbalance occurs in us, protons and electrons in odd numbers, electrons overreact. When we have extra electrons, it creates a negative charge. Our negative electrons attract to another person's positive electrons. Touching that other person causes a shock. We're giving off electricity. Once we let out this shock because of the high numbers of electrons, the electrons breaks down the air particles. We feel a shock also, and then it dissipates. So what we need to take and, and study in the lab is how to create this dry environment that keeps our body in control of producing higher number of electrons. Also, once we shock we don't want to say another person. But once we shock the bad guys, they don't want to go around shocking your family members, you know, just to practice on them. You know, oh, oh yeah, I learned how to, you know, no. But once we shock the bad guys, we have to learn how not to shock ourselves. So the answer may be in an electron control suit that we invent. We create this dry environment and then our suit controls our electrons so that we can shock bad guys. We don't want to naturally produce electricity. We could produce heat. You say, well, electricity is not my thing. Heat is more my thing. So. We could, like John Storm, join up with Sir Richard Reed on his exploration and get caught in the radiation of the anomaly and become the human torch, unaffected by fire and heat and flames, able to send out bombs and torch entire places with fire bombs. Or like Ronnie Raymond, who blew up a nuclear reactor and his personality in atoms merges with Professor Martin Stein and becomes Firestorm. Now he can emit deadly nuclear fire and alter inorganic matter into any form he wants, becoming one of Earth's most powerful beings. Now we naturally through our bodies transfer heat. Metabolic heat is generated in our bodies and we send this heat out into the environment. We do that naturally. See, when lots of us uh, humans get together, you feel it getting hot. And we say, well, it's hot in here. Let's say you're gonna have a party invite your friends and family, neighbors, and you had the air conditioning running since last night. Wow, this is freezing cold. That's enough for everybody. You turn the air, the air conditioning off. People walking around, slow eating. Nobody's jumping. Nobody's doing physical activity, but then it starts getting hot in here. Why? Because we let out heat from our bodies, just normal Heat transfer, right? Heat dissipates from our skin and lungs by convection and radiation as sensible heat and by evaporation as latent heat. The total rate of heat transfer from our bodies is equal to the rate of metabolic heat generated, generated in the body. Let's say, for instance, on average, on average, you and I require 2,000 
500 calories per day for energy, and that amount of energy produces 120 watts of heat. An athlete caloric intake is significantly higher, thus producing more energy with the equivalent of transferring 1,000 to 2,000 watts of heat. So we can become human tasers, human stun guns, and taser and stun the bad guys. So we need enough heat, energy, to generate about 25,000 volts to stun a bad guy. We create that equivalent of heat from our bodies. So go into the aquifer theaquify.com and that's the whole thing that starts out the aquify is this generation so there's a, a wedding that's taking place underwater because that's where they live underwater in their underwater settlement and then their enemy in the aquifer for the back of it also this is the back of it this is the side of it so if you go into theaquify.com Purchase the book, sends you over to Amazon Kindle, which you know is safe and fast. You get it in two days, looks like this. Easy to read. I'll show you the inside of it. All right. All right. See how easy it is to read? Easy to read. So purchase it. It's easy to read. You will enjoy it. And so there's this enemy vessel, right, that generates heat. wrecks the wedding, the main characters about to give their vow. We don't know if they said I do or not. Did they say I do or not? It's here. It's in the aqua font. I was I always have it up here, but now I'm showing it to you so that you can go and purchase it. Um, so it's a generation of heat that this enemy has learned how to control heat and send it out in firebombs that blows up their environment and gets everything going and all your action adventure goes on from there. So go into the Aquafy, purchase. And while you're there, go into the merchandise section of the Aquafy. Get your favorite Aquafy gear, hat, t-shirt, cap. Your favorite Aquafy artwork is in there. You'll, you'll even see this artwork of the Aquafy once you go in there. So go into the Aquafy. And if you're listening on YouTube to this podcast, make sure to subscribe, like other podcasts that you missed, go and listen to them and make sure to like those as well. We're also on Anchor. Anchor has Spotify, Apple, Comcast, Comcast uh, Google, Google Cast, about nine different podcasts. Go and and follow, subscribe, follow us on Facebook. Make sure to like everywhere you go. So it's this energy blast that starts this invent adventure in the aquifer. So we study this, and then we learn how to transmit 2,000 to 3,000 watts of fire and heat by building up enough energy within us in order to transfer this heat from our body. Now we become superheroes, transmitting our own natural body heat into firebombs against bad guys. So don't practice this at home, practice this in your lab. You know, it's like a family member goes by and oh, start sweating because you're transferring, you know, and it can never cool off because you, you keep transferring. No. Practice, practice this in your lab and uh, let your family members cool off a little bit. Yeah. So in the beginning, you know, you want you know, shock and, but once you learn the full how to do it, now you got bad guys to stop because we're now transmitting heat and electricity 
Our bodies are not the only transmitters of fire and electricity, rays. Maybe you get to the point where now you got this super strength, adrenaline, testosterone, huge muscle mass, and you're hitting people, hitting people, hitting people. And then you're always using your own hands, transmitting heat, electricity. But there's other things you can do, you know, like headbutt, another headbutt. Do I headbutt? Headbutt. You know, no more headbutts. There's other things you can do. You can use bands, wristbands headbands, you can use bracelets, rings to transmit your electricity, transmit your heat. You can use all these other ornaments. So on the next podcast, let's talk about how to use these ornaments to transmit our superpowers.